All right, everybody, we're gonna go get a car, my son's new truck. So I'm going this way. He doesn't live that far from me, so I just need to go around this little area. And I'll catch you over there. All right, guys, so I don't have one of those camera holders for my car. My son lives, okay, there's a highway, and I live on one side, and he lives on the other side. So he doesn't live that far from me. I just got done talking with a neighbor of mine. She lives um, two doors down to the right of my unit, their apartments. And the apartment in the middle, which is right in the middle of my unit and her unit. The lady's name was Catherine and um, she died over the Christmas holidays. Anyway, this neighbor that is living at the end who's on the other side of Catherine who died, her name is Izzy. Izzy just told me that she was with Catherine when Catherine died. Now Catherine was a healthy, I don't know, 55 and over, um, you know, active woman who was always walking her dog, always taking walks, always doing all kinds of stuff around the building, um, talking and stuff. So um, she had some kind of a seizure or something where she was in um, Izzy's unit and they were in the kitchen. The kitchen has just got um, like vinyl flooring. Izzy told me that she fell back. Catherine fell back. And as she was falling back, you know, towards like hitting on the back, on her back, she was falling back and she grabbed Izzy and Izzy fell down with her. Izzy fell on top of her uh, and Izzy broke her neck. And at the same time, Catherine like died. When I guess she hit her head or she had a stroke. I don't really know what really happened except what Izzy told me. So anyway, um, this was during the time I had my knee surgery. So I, w I wasn't going out of my unit for two weeks straight, okay? Except to walk down the hall. Uh, but I didn't see anybody. So all of a sudden I notice I don't see Catherine anywhere. And I'm wondering, is she gone, you know, maybe to Florida? Taking some time off and... Or gone during the Christmas season to visit somebody. I didn't know until I found out that she had died. Isn't that something? And I just talked to Izzy and Izzy says that she hasn't gotten over that. She hasn't gotten over the fact that, you know, she was right there when Catherine died. And she thinks, you know, Catherine was like, had like took a couple of breaths when she hit the, the ground. And then after that, she said she was gone she was dead which is so weird and I feel bad for Izzy because she was there and I mean falling on top of Catherine and then breaking your nose because you're falling on top of a person who's holding on to you so anyway um that's that's what happened so when you're when you I live in a 55 and over active community for seniors um, and, um, it's quite, it's quite a, an experience because you meet a lot of people, um, all kinds of things happen. I'm telling you, I, I mean, I don't want to sound morose or anything, but every so often, you know, you see the ambulance out in the front of the building coming to get somebody, somebody fell or somebody died, um, <laughs> But I guess that's to be expected when, when you have that age group. And I'm telling you, some of them act like they're teenagers. They're like free for all kind of happy people. You know, they don't care about any, anybody's opinion of them. I think they've earned their right to do as they please, hook up with whoever they want to hook up with, which I've seen quite a bit. And <laughs> I don't know. I, I just never thought it would be that way. I thought, you know, it's going to be more quiet and you know you'll see people but everybody you know will keep to themselves and 
that's not the case. Um, well, anyway, Izzy told me, I have a flower on, on, on my, the front of my door. She told me, and it's all beige, and she told me, maybe I'll take a picture of it. She told me that it needs color. Yeah, it needs color. I should paintbrush it with colors. So, <laughs> she said, she says, do you know how to paint? And I says, no, I don't know how to paint. Not really. She says, okay, well, bring it to my house. I know how to paint to my apartment, and I, I know how to paint. So uh, I guess I'll bring it over to her. I never thought there was anything wrong with it. I thought it was fine. Yeah, it's all beige, and it's on my door, but it's just like a vinyl flower, and I put it there because I didn't know where else to put it. So anyway, um, either I'm going to buy a new wreath with a lot of colors on it, or I'm going to take it to her place, and maybe she can um, color it for me. I don't know. I, I don't know. In a way, I think, I think that's a little intrusive, but in a way, you know, she's just being her innocent self. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. I'll plop over, but oops, I got to put the music off. Anyway, I'm at my son's place. Um, I'm not going to go in. I'm waiting for him because he's going to drive up and he's going to park his car and then we're going to get in my car because I'm going to take him to the car dealer to pick up his new, new truck. It's a Toyota. I'm not sure what kind. Maybe it's a Tundra. I'm not really sure. He's had to wait quite a bit for it. Um, and then the car he has now, he's going to sell it either to CarMax or to the dealer. And he's going to get a lot of money because used cars right now, and it's not even not that old, used cars right now are worth a lot. So with the money he makes from the sale of his used car, he's going to be able to make some car payments or put it in, you know, to savings in case he needs it sometime. So anyway, um, he's been driving a little uh, Volkswagen golf i think he does not have four-wheel drive and here in colorado you really should have four-wheel drive he does not have it he doesn't have to drive very far for work but every so often when it snows they don't really snow plow around here much like they did in chicago they don't put a lot of salt they don't have a lot of uh i don't know they don't pick up the snow 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 removal they do but not like over there, like in this little residential area where he lives, they they don't have they don't plow. So the people that come out of their driveways from their house um, sometimes could get stuck, and he's gotten stuck in his little car quite a bit. So um, yeah, so he needs a four wheel drive, and it's a truck, and he wants to be able to use it for when he goes camping. He'll be able to sleep inside of it. He's going to set it up so he can do that. Because he just has been doing, you know, the tent camping where you just put up a tent and that's it. Uh, he's pretty, pretty good at that, but he's wanting something different. He's wanting something where he can, if he doesn't want to set up the tent, he can sleep in the back of the truck. He's going to set it up where he can do that. All right, guys, we'll see you at the car dealer. Let's drive you to your car. Uh, your... Hi guys. Yesterday, I took my son to go pick up his truck. His new Toyota Tacoma. I thought it was a Tundra, but it's a Tacoma. Tacoma, the Tundra is huge and that would not fit in his garage. So he got a Tacoma and um, hopefully you saw my video before this and you saw it, it's beautiful. It's like a nice um, green, but not like a military green. It's lighter and um, it's beautiful. <laughs> So anyway, I am here in my little, well, it's not mine. It's the building's workout room in my apartment building. And uh, I'm, on the, I'm on the bike because I need to, I need to do the bike because of my knee right now. And then um, I can do the treadmill, but I don't know. It's a little bit, I'm not used to it yet.
Um, it's only been like two months since my surgery, so. And then I also do the rower, which is, I'll show you where it is. It's right over there. That's the rower, right there. I don't know what this is. I got on it once and I don't know how adjust, to adjust the seat. Then they have some workout balls and there's one missing because a lady resident always takes it to her apartment. So there is a ball missing in the middle and I even think she takes the top ball. Anyway, I don't think that's very nice, but then there's a weight machine. It's all on one unit. And then, oh, can I show you over there? There's two treadmills in, um, what is that, elliptical. 